Hi, I'm Dr. Lara, and welcome to another week of Channeled Angel Messages. So sit back, relax, and see if anything resonates for you today. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so right away, I'm seeing like a medicine woman, a high priestess, um, and this is guided towards all of the light workers. Whether you know you're a light worker, you think you want to be a light worker, you want to be a light worker, um, this is for you. And they just want to let you know that you are being supported, you are being helped, and it it feels like there has been kind of like a, where well, they're showing me a, a cocoon. It feels like you've kind of been in like a cocoon phase, uh, working out a lot of things, letting go of a lot of things, and we're coming into a new phase here energetically, and they're showing me like breaking out of the cocoon. So you may feel that you've let go of a lot of stuff, you've released a lot of fear and self-doubt, and you know, oh, okay, now they're showing me like the butterflies spreading your wings. So you may feel like you are ready, and but you don't know where to go or what to do. And uh, they just want to say, just for now, just enjoy it. Enjoy the freedom that you are feeling emotionally and energetically because it really feels like you have like walked through the, the depths of hell with your um, uh, perceptions and beliefs that don't resonate with you anymore. And it feels like it's come up, but they're showing me like a volcano. So it's been kind of tiring for a lot of us going through this metamorphosis stage. Okay. Yeah. They're showing me the, the, um, butterfly when it comes out of the cocoon, it doesn't fly right away. It has to let its wings dry. And if you, if you, uh, look at the cocoon and if you try to open the cocoon to help the butterfly get out, the butterfly will die because it's the struggle that the butterfly needs to do to come out of the cocoon to kind of pull the uh, liquid off of its wings. So that's what they're saying for you is that you had to go through all of this turmoil because it has given you gifts and you may not realize what it is now, but you're going to. Okay, so when you get out and you spread your wings and you start to help other people or start doing your work more, all of this knowledge and wisdom that you have gained through your entire lifetimes <laughs> and through the this last bout of like the depths of hell that you've been through, it's really going to come in handy. And they just want to let you know that you're on the right track. You're doing exactly what you need to be doing, but don't rush anything quite yet. You may feel like you're really ready, which is great. So, you know, you can like do little things to prepare you, but they really want you to enjoy this time, this respite, uh, this kind of like, it, it, kind of like a slow time because it's not going to be very slow in the future. You're going to be busy. And so just, uh, give yourself, there's showing the pat on the back, like well done. And they know it's been tough, but you did it and you're strong and congratulations. So that's very exciting. Okay. So the next thing that they're saying is um, you can trust yourself. There's somebody here. Actually, it's not one person because they're showing me lots of fingers. They're not pointing, but it's like <laughs> it's a lot of people. Um, there's a lot of endings and beginnings. And uh, there's some situations that you are having to make decisions about and you're wondering, am I going to mess it up? Is this the right one? And they're just saying you can trust yourself. Trust yourself. And, and they're showing me this. It feels like there's a lot of mind chatter and there's a lot of people that are telling you what you should do, what they want you to do. And um, they're just saying, shut those shut those off and get situated into your own intuition and trust what it is you get because um, 
oh, I just had this really weird feeling. Like people are like telling you what to do and you know within your heart that it's not what they're saying. You are going to like, it feels like you're taking like a completely different path that is like so off in like left field that they're going to be like, what are you doing? But it feels so right in your body that that's what you need to do. And they're telling me, take that leap of faith. You can do it, whatever it is, okay? And anytime we go into a new situation, there's a lot of things that, that happen with that. There's grief because you're letting go of the old situation. And then there's some fear because you don't know what to expect. And there's comfort in knowing what to expect. Even though things are miserable, you know what to expect. And sometimes the, that is uh, more desirable than moving on to something different because you don't know what to expect. And it, it feels like there's a, a fear of change because you don't know what you're going into and you think it's going to be bad. Okay, and this is the cycle of anything that when we try to go into something new, it feels bad because it's unfamiliar. And when we're unfamiliar, we feel like we don't know what we're doing. We feel like we don't have our footing. We don't feel grounded. And it's a very uncomfortable feeling. So there's a lot of uh, humans that have associated change as bad because of those uncomfortable emotions in the beginning. But when you get through that, and you look back on your life of all the changes that you've made, when you get through that uncomfortable stage and you get settled and you gain wisdom and strength, you'll see that every single change that you've had has been guiding you towards your highest good and you are better for it. And your situation is better, okay? And I'm, I'm seeing this, mm -mm, because there's some people here that have had a change in their life and they don't feel like it's been for the better. And the reason why it doesn't feel like it's been for the better is because you haven't learned the lesson yet. So if something has happened to you and you find yourself in a situation that pretty much sucks and you don't like it, ask what it is you can learn from that. And when you receive that lesson, then you can move on to something different. And there's no wrong path. They really want you to understand you cannot make a wrong decision. Everything is always leading you to your highest good, whether it, it feels like a smooth transition and things blossom right away, which hardly ever happens, <laughs> or you go through uh, trials and tribulations and challenges and you learn things about yourself and then you get there, you get to that same space. So they're just saying, take that leap of faith, trust your intuition. You can do this. You can do this. Okay, and what else do we have here? Hmm, okay. So uh, my heart just kind of hurts a little bit. And um, there's, it feels like there's a lot of good that's coming into people's lives right now. I mean, if you pull yourself, if you're able, if you have been able to pull yourself out of the chaos and the drama that's happening around the world, and you have been able to come in within yourself, and you have worked on things, and you've worked through things, and you feel lighter, and you may have this, this feeling of like, good things are gonna come for you, or good things are coming to you, but there's this feeling of like worthiness. Like, do I deserve to have all of this? It feels like there's a lot of guilt, like there's a lot of people that are suffering, or you know, people are not doing as well as I am, and there's guilt around that, and the angels, Oh, awesome. Okay. So they're bringing their brooms. <laughs> I love this. They're bringing their brooms. And if you want to, you can say yes to this healing energy that the angels are bringing in. And what they want to do is they want to sweep away any beliefs, any perceptions, any guilt that you may be feeling of receiving good in your life. So if you say yes, they're coming in and they're just like sweeping sweeping it all the way out of your your aura and it's like um and this guilt it's not even from within it's guilt that has been placed on us from society and what we're doing what they're doing is they're helping you to 
let go of those old perceptions that have been given to you and you get to choose what you want to believe and they want to add this in so when you allow good into your life when you allow abundance to flow to you when you allow uh, love to come to you your vibration your happiness your joy is extended like like multiple times and the people that you reach they're they're increased so uh there's this thing about being a martyr and um you know serving everybody else before yourself and you taking nothing and you know that that's that has not a saintly thing okay that is given to us from society it's better to give than receive you know all of this stuff and it's just it's just simply not true we are not here to suffer we are here to be joyful to be loving to be abundant and prosperous and the more that we are that the more lives we can touch and the better our lives will be and the better lives there will be okay so there's no there's no medal for being a martyr they're, they're letting that go if you want to let go of that mentality they are trying to sweep that away from you as well and bring in let's bring in some energy of I am worthy I deserve and even above that is like I am it is your divine right to have love and prosperity and joy in fulfillment that's your divine right so claim it claim it to come into your body and enjoy it free from guilt free from feeling bad that other people don't have it because the more that you have the more you take care of yourself the more that you're able to give to others okay well that was a very passionate message that was awesome so thank you for being here and I just want to say I do do sessions so if you're feeling that you want to move forward in your life a little bit more well a lot more because the sessions I do are very powerful so if you're ready to uh, move up to the next level of your expression of your life if you feel like you want to get through something you just can't get through it um, I do sessions so um, if that calls to you, hopefully we can connect. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful week. Thanks so much for being here.